another day of download. There's some noisy band on the main stage, so we've had to come inside the tent again. Who may or may not be Me Megadeth. Yeah, they may or may not be Megadeth. We're not sure. We, we can't recognise the music. <laughs> not really. But I'm joined by Rob with Robin by from Rival Sons. Welcome to download. Thank you, Nigel. Appreciate it. Good to see you again. Saw you about a year ago when your album first came out. Yep. What have you been up to since then? Touring, touring, more touring. And then we also squeezed in a recording session. And a couple, like three videos or so. Been busy, man. Well, that's quite, I mean, that's quite short time between the last album and the new one then, isn't it? Felt like a long time. <laughs> we love to make music. So we want to record, we want to release two records a year. Unfortunately, we're just real busy to make that happen. So we'll stick with one. And then when you've made it, of course, you've got to go touring to sell the album, so... Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Do you prefer the recording process to the live live performance? I love the studio. I'm like, I always wanted to be a studio musician, you know? Not really a rock star by any means, but um, I also love playing live. I'm like a trained jazz musician, so I love the improv, the feeling, the crowd. I know that I didn't actually answer one way or the other. No, but it's interesting <laughs> because you say you're a jazz musician, yeah. you play in a rock band, and you make your record in Nashville. Right. So there's a bit of a mixture going on there. They got some jazz in Nashville, don't they? <laughs> I think they do. Definitely Megadeth. Spin that around. Yes, we can see it on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I play in a rock and roll band, so we're more than just tracks like we actually do a lot of improvisation and we stretch But do you bring out. some of that jazz influence into the rock and roll? Definitely. I met Miley on a jazz gig too. Miley's way into jazz. Jay loves jazz. Scott appreciates jazz. I wouldn't say he plays it, but um I mean he solos, we all improvise. And does your producer bring any of the country influences in with him? He's more like a old school rock and roll guy. Like he loves he loves the improv too. Like we actually write the songs that day and just try and get a take right there, a song a day, try and finish them out. Like he likes how the old records felt. That was like real immediate and not overthought, overproduced. That's so when you, when you go into the studio, what do you take in with you? How, how complete or incomplete are the songs when you go in? Take your jacket and your instruments. The clothes on our back, yeah. And this time we, we took about a year and a half of touring and living with each other practically, you know. But, but not even any riffs or anything really. You just started almost from scratch, did you? Yeah. I mean, I'll have a riff idea like that morning when I'm drinking my coffee <laughs> and then I say, hey guys, how about this? You know, or Scott does the same or Jay does the same or Dave, producer, or Miley. Um, everyone's throwing out ideas. But these aren't ideas that you put together over the last 12 months and you taped as you went along and you revisited? Definitely not. You not go with, an, with, a, with a, an open mind, basically. Clean slate. Yeah. Um, definitely not 12 months. Maybe like the week before, like, oh, we actually have a studio session and maybe I should think about something. So there were a couple riffs written beforehand, but the forms, like, no one goes to the... No one actually tries to finish a song because otherwise someone will rip it apart and then they'll get all sad. <laughs> so if you aren't prepared in that respect, so you, ha you, you start writing when you go into the studio and in effect you're there till it's done, how long does each track take you? Um, we get the better part of it done in a day. Um, sometimes our songs have been like half a day. If, depending if the mood's right, you know, if Jay, if Jay can write while we're working on the song, if he can write the lyrics, there are a couple tracks on the album that were done in one day. Others take the better part of the day to get finished and we don't quite get the take and then first thing the next day we get the rhythm take and then we start on another song. So maybe that day we get two. So there's really nothing on the album that's taken you more than two days to do? Yeah, no. Um, in fact, most of the takes we end up using are like the first time or second time we've ever played the song. So you're a very spontaneous man. You try to be. When you then want to turn that into a live performance, do you almost have to listen to the record to work out what you did so you can work it out live? Absolutely. We're actually, after this tour, we have to sit down and practice our own songs. You think, how, how on earth did I do that? <laughs> yeah. It's fun. And we, we love that about Dave Cobb. Like, that's... He made us do that, you know? And um, it's real nice to discover yourself as opposed to, like, working something up, like, polishing. I don't want everyone to see my mistakes, so I'm going to work it out, you know? I mean, it obviously works for you. I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with it. But do you feel sometimes that if you had taken a bit more time, you had 
revisited things two or three times, the, the record would be very different? Sometimes. And thank you for saying that. You haven't heard the record yet, though. So you don't know if it worked for us or not. But um, I wouldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> good to know. Um, sure. I mean, we're all artists. I mean, for example, you record it spontaneously. You then have to learn it for live sessions. You then go on tour for a year, which in effect is all your polishing time. Right. So after a year, how different is the track from the one you recorded? Sometimes very different. Other times, not so much. I mean, we actually really believe in our process. So we like to capture that kind of feeling. It's not like we'd want to tour on those songs for a year and then record them in the studio again. If anything, just record a live show and release that. So the record's done, just ready to come out in September. Yeah. If and when we can get hold of a track off the label. Yeah. The one that really demonstrates that process that we've taught, that spontaneity, like get in, play the track, finish. Which is the one that was the quickest? Um, the one I was thinking of earlier is called Three Fingers. That was real quick, and Jay got all the takes on that the same day. Um, there's another track called Jordan that... Uh, Hello. We have an artiste around our ankles here. <laughs> um, there's a, a ballad called Jordan that was all a first take. There's another song called True Love that was a first take. There's most of it. And I, and I think you should be able to hear it. I hope you can hear that. Good. Well, Robin, from the very spontaneous rival, son. Yes. Thank you very much indeed for joining us at Download. Cheers now. Thank you. Thank you.